All right, so I crashed. No big deal. I'm just going to kind of go through here and change some stuff. Fast Shader 5. Go over here to color. Fill the object up. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. And maybe fill that material in there. Okay, now I'm going to choose the flatten brush and show you what UVs are. Okay, by default, what I'm doing right here is poly painting onto the object. So with lazy mouse on, I'm going to kind of show you what the difference between poly painting is corresponding to texture resolution. So let's just take red for example. Now nah, let's blue. Click and drag it across. Okay. Right now, this kind of has a stair-stepping approach, right? Until I add another level of polygons and now start painting on it, you can see a much smoother line. So poly painting, which is down here, by the way, if you see poly painting, it's on by default, but it's colorized. If it's not, that's how you turn it on. Will is based upon poly resolution. Now, texture resolution goes much higher than poly resolution. Do you see the difference? I don't know. It's one of those things that, yeah, you're going to see the difference if you actually transfer it over to a texture. Uh, if you get into really fine stuff, you're going to see it. And if you start getting into Projection Master, of course you're going to see it. But uh, for right now, everything looks all so crisp and clean. Now, uh, to transfer or make this into a material or a texture, let's kind of look at it this way. I'm going to kind of just scribble on the ball a little bit like I did before. And this time I'm going to put it on a texture. I'll show you the difference. Okay, there we go. I'll look at this area right here. Okay, the first thing that it needs is UVs. Now your UV structure should always kind of match your overall shape. This shape actually go down far enough to become a square. Okay, so I certainly wouldn't want to make UVs based on a square. I would want to make UVs based upon something like this, a more rounded out shape. To do that, I would have to delete lower and then go down to UVs and I can choose what kind of UV structure I want. I want 2048 UVs and I kind of want to go through what these do. Uh, PUV tiles will just pack the, t uh, the UV structure over into the smallest of corners and utilize space. GUVs will do the opposite. It'll actually make big chunks of UVs so it's easier to kind of maybe manipulate them later on in a third party application. That being said very loosely. And AUV titles will use the full resolution. So if you ever want super uber detail, use AUV tiles. If you want something that makes sense, you got to use a third party application because ZBrush sucks at making UVs. Uh, these are good for a quick pinch, staying within ZBrush. Anytime you go into a third party application with your textures though, they're going to look like uh, somebody took a puzzle and threw it on the ground and ran it over with a dump truck. All right. So AUV tiles. All right. So now that I have AUV tiles, what I want to do is choose white and I want to go into texture and choose a new resolution for that texture. So I want 2048 by 2048. and hit new. Oops. So nothing changed, right? Because 3.12b or 3.1 in the Mac or 3.12b on the Mac, sorry. Uh, over here I have a new little palette called texture map and I could choose that texture that I made. Okay, so by clicking on the square I can go that way. I can hit new texture there too that works. I just choose it here because I can definitely know that that is a 2048 map and if I mouse over it you can see the little tiny numbers in the corner in the upper right hand side that says 2048 by 2048. Make sure that says that. 
Okay, to transfer everything I have on this layer, I'll definitely want to up the polygons. That way I have the resolution. And then I can toggle back on texture and hit new from poly paint. There we go. And you can see, because I've chosen AUV tiles, it's only used one half of it corresponding to whatever shape I had. So I had a sphere that had a very low polygon structure and it's used the tiles up here to utilize only one half of this UV map. For people that are lost right now, trust me that will make sense later on. For people that are pros, yeah, that's ridiculous, right? So if you go in here and you hit delete lower, you'll see that when I do make new UVs, like AUV tiles now, and change over to the texture, then up the polygons, and then go back in here and do the same thing, new from poly paint, you can see now it's utilized the full UV space. So be careful. Kind of test this, what I just did out on your model, to see what level looks better with your AUV tiles if you choose to do this route before you go on. And you can see now, when I go in here and paint, you're going to see something that's going to happen. It's not going to show up. Why? Because you can't paint real time on the texture. You can only paint real time on the color paint or the colorized version of ZBrush. Okay? So with texture on, nothing. Zero. Zip. Okay? With the texture off, zero. Zilch. Nothing. This one off. There we go. <laughs> so make sure it's off on two different spots. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, and you can kind of get the difference between people that do that and they figure out it's not drawing on it until they turn the texture off and voila, it's there. So no painting real time on textures, only the actual colorization. And that's how to switch it over between uh, the texture. And if I just do the poly paint, it'll switch it over to the actual texture, which you can actually put into a third party application. All right. That being all said, let's go on to the next video.